Good day, everybody. This is Whitewood, Saskatchewan. This was full of trucks earlier this morning. Looks like everybody's back to work. I guess we should join them too. straps all nice and lined up here. I'm gonna roll them up with my strap roller. Getting unloaded. Once all this is off my trailer, I'll just have my tarps left on my trailer. And then I'll head back to the yard. There's a load sitting there waiting for me already. A load of lumber. Did you guys watch yesterday's video? picked this up at our yard yesterday. Brought it here, it's like a five hour drive. We're in Langbank, Saskatchewan. Once I'm done here, there's a load of lumber that's going to Minneapolis, waiting for me, calling my name. I'm I hear it. It's the sound of money. I love that sound. Gotta roll these straps up and uh, skedaddle. showing you I gather all of my straps together here in one place so I'm not walking back and forth going to get them I have them laid out here beside my truck so that they're not being driven over by the forklift I don't really care if forklifts drive over my straps but I don't want my straps to get caught up in their axles or in their wheels or something and cause problems so I just keep them out of their way Got an empty trailer behind me and we are off. Rock and roll. Let's go get our next load. I'm not even too sure what kind of lumber it is. I don't think it, well, it could be tarped lumber. I don't know. That'd be a little disappointing because no one told me about that. But I like to prepare myself mentally before I have to do tarping, you know? It's, it's much easier if I show up and I know I gotta do it than if I show up and I get surprised that I have to do it, you know? Maybe that's just me. Not a big deal if we do have to tarp it. It's just gonna take up a little bit of time, that's all. And I'm trying not to waste any time today. I wanna get as close to Minneapolis as I can tonight. I have to make sure I can get home tomorrow. I have to be home for the next day. I have to. We have important things to take care of. Alright, let's get out of here. 
So about another four and a half, five hour drive back. Probably five hours, so I'll probably stop for Timmy's along the way. Get out of here, fly. A lot of flies can like insist on flying into windows, but they refuse to fly back out. I think I've asked that recently. I still don't understand.
down the lumber. On 600 meters, Launch take the entrance to the right on RTE 20 North RTE 20 North Highway 59 South RTE 59 South and then Cape to the right in 420 meters. You talk too much, Karen. Did anyone ever tell you that? Open sesame. I haven't seen your comments from yesterday's video yet. Have we determined whether or not it's open sesame or open sesame? I've always, I've always wondered this since I was a child. I'm fin I finally got the courage to ask. I always thought it was open sesame. What do you guys think? Let me know. I need to know now. Well, I hooked up to my new trailer, my new load, and then I unhooked. We have a problem. It has to do with my new tires. I got a flat. This inside one right here. So it's not completely flat. And I can't find the leak anywhere. So it's a very slow leak. I probably drove over something or the valve stem is bad. Hoping it's just the valve stem, that'd be great. It might be the rim is too old and the bead isn't holding air anymore. I got warned that they're getting kind of old before already, so that might be the problem. I don't think it's the actual tire. I don't think it's the actual tire. So, I bought these tires 42,000 kilometers ago. That's, how much is 42,000 kilometers? Is what? 28,000 miles or something? Now I gotta do math for you guys. You guys are making me work. You're making me work. One second. Let's see what we got here. What do we got here? Uh, calculator, where are you? There you are. Okay, 42,000 kilometers divided by 1.61. So these tires have got 26,000 miles on them. Just about 20. So they're still very new. I and there's no holes, obvious holes, in the tire. Very unlikely, but you know I've been wrong before. Regarding tires, actually, that was when we were the one I thought we'd be hauling tires. <laughs> now I don't think there's anything wrong with the tire. Well, you know my record on tires. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, I got a tire guy coming here right now. He's gonna, he's on his way. He's got a new tire, even though I have two new ones in my shop, but I don't have those two here. I don't think I'm gonna need it though. I don't think I'm gonna need it. Uh, I think he'll be able to patch it or fix the valve stem or whatever it is that's causing the issue. And we'll be back on the road right away. This is some hot lumber apparently. I've never known lumber to be so hot. A hot load means that it has to go, and it has to go now. It has to be delivered tomorrow sometime. It can't be delivered Monday, it's gotta go. That means I've gotta get as far as I can tonight yet. So I'm gonna be sitting here waiting for him. Hopefully I'll have the hours, we'll see what happens, but uh, we'll get this load delivered tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll get her done. But I'm gonna tie it down so that when he gets here, uh, I'll have everything tied down. That's why I backed back under the trailer here just a little bit so I can get up on here. I'm gonna put my tarps up here, tie everything down, and then I'm gonna bring the truck. I can limp it back to the front of the yard where he can have lots of room to get around it, get the tires off, and see what the issue is when he gets here. What's with me and tires? Seriously. I've had so many flat tires on this truck already. Like. I bought this truck a year ago. I've had it on the road for uh, a little over a year, like a year and a quarter or something, a year and three months. Uh, I've had, this would be like the fourth flat, right? Third or fourth in a year. That's not usual, but that's not normal. I keep driving over stuff. Stuff keeps, nope, stuff keeps getting in my way. That's what's going on. Stuff keeps getting in my way. So I'll let you know how it goes when he gets here. I gotta tie this down real quick so I'll be ready to go when he's done. That's what was in my tire. What is that? Almost looks like a bullet, right? It's not a bullet, obviously, but... What is that? It's right in my tire. So the tire's patchable, we can fix it. Why do I keep driving over things? Constantly driving over stuff like this. Like, what is this? Why is it on the ground? Just my luck, right? Just my luck. He's fixing it up there right now and then throw it back on there. Quick, easy fix. So shout out to West End Tire who came out to help me. 
after hours. All right, we're all fixed up. Didn't take long at all. He was here for probably about a half hour. Tires all good. We're hooked up. I'm just gonna just gotta finish with these straps here. Tighten it up, and we'll be on our way. Hot freight. Hot freight. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I'm gonna be tired tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. Yeah, but don't worry. Don't worry. If I get too tired, I'll pull over. Don't worry. No load is worth anyone's life. So I'll get it there. We'll get it there by end of day tomorrow. I don't know if I'll get home tomorrow now. I might. We'll see. I'll get as far as I can. And, uh, you know, if I get too tired, we'll pull over and shut her down. No one's going to get mad at me for that here. No one's, no one's forced dispatched or anything here. No one's forced to drive when it's not safe. I'm not worried about that at all. But I do know that I will get it there tomorrow. Either way. If I stop a little earlier or if I drive late into the night, we'll get this freight delivered. And we'll get back home. All right. That was as good of a, a flat as you can get. I don't even know where I put that little piece. I don't care. I don't want to see it again. As long as it's not on the ground somewhere again. I'm pretty sure I might have picked it up in the yard here. Pretty sure, because I don't think I had a flat tire when I got here. I mean, I got out, I went and brought my paperwork in, I usually take a look at the truck. I don't go and kick the tires every single time I get out of the truck. All right, I check the tires at the beginning of my day, sometime throughout my day a couple of times. But not every single time. All right, let's see if we can get down to at least Alexandria Sox Center area. I'll grab a coffee in Morris, grab some Tim's. I think I might need a double espresso tonight. I'm still feeling good, just so you know. I would never get on the road if I was too tired to drive. I was just making jokes before. It'll be a long day is what I was trying to say. It'll be a long day, but I'm good. These long days, they happen, right? That's what truck drivers are used to. We're used to that. I've already been cleared for the border. We're going to be crossing from Emerson, Manitoba into Pembina, North Dakota. We'll go down all the way down I-29 to Fargo and then we'll cross over into Minnesota on I-94 and ride that sweet I-94 all the way down to Minneapolis, St. Paul. I'm always a little nervous the first little ways after I get a tire patched. Uh, I hope it holds. <laughs> it always has. Whoops. Gotta remember to swing in somewhere and get my tires retorqued. First thing in the morning. Hey, there's Mike. too close too close there you go I'm tired but I made it to Rothesay Minnesota a little over three hours from my destination we will get going as early as we can tomorrow get back home I want straight to bed do not pass go do not collect two hundred dollars I want straight to bed as soon as I show you where I parked I parked right in the corner that's the only place I could find 
Hope it's okay. The whole lot here is packed full. Except for the corner. I think I might move over yet. Yeah, I'm taking up too much space, aren't I? I'm going to move over up against this guy over here on the left. And it'll open up one more space if someone wants to back in there yet. Yeah, we're going to move over. There we go. Opened up another spot here if another guy wants to back in. Push myself back as far as I could. You can fit another, oh, well, you can even fit another two in there, maybe. Be back in, right? Or at least another one, right? There we go. Now I'm not taking up too much space. See, even when I'm super tired, I can't go to sleep knowing I'm taking up two spots. Or even if it's, there's not really any spots out here, but potentially two spots, right? Because there's going to be another driver coming off the road. He's going to be super tired. He's going to be looking just for one spot just to park for the night, and he's going to see me taking up two spots. And what if he recognizes me from YouTube? <laughs> well, then I'm in trouble. He's going to call me out, taking up two spots, Trucker Josh. Practice what you preach, right? So as long as he doesn't block me in here, like if he parks in front of me, or she, or whoever comes here, if they do take this spot... As long as they back up far enough that I can still get out, then uh, we should be fine. I see a guy coming here right now. He might be, he might be my neighbor. Let's see if he takes that spot. Doesn't really matter to me. What matters is I'm going to bed. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay safe out there. Be safe in all that you do, and remember to drive safe. See you tomorrow.